Hi everyone. Um, we're gonna go ahead and make a video in order to clarify some of the procedures in order to export your private seed from the Ledger device. There's been some reports of people having a Ledger not work efficiently due to uh, Ledger server issues. These problems are not with the Komodo network, they're with the device and uh, most of the issues are server side. So if you ever have funds in your ledger and you want to get them out, what you need to do is you need to use the BIP39 tool, which is available in Agama and it's also available on a standalone. I'm going to use the standalone today because I prefer to use that um, and we're going to use it offline. So if give me one moment, uh, I will go ahead and start. Okay, so basically when you have a ledger, you have a 24 seed, a 24 word seed, and this is how you recover all of your funds in the ledger. So what most people don't know is that we have a tool in Agama that allows you to export your private keys using that seed. And before I actually open the standalone tool, I'm going to open Agama because I want to show the settings tab. On the settings tab, you're able to actually use the bit 39 key tool here so for example if you use this you could shut the internet off and you would be using it offline and you can also do this like on a I always recommend having a device only for your crypto so um, I mean sometimes it's it's difficult but you can achieve it with virtual machines and um, it's good to have these things segregated right so many people are worried about losing their private key so if you use the, if you use the tool on a device that is safe and it's also offline then you know it's it it's 10 times better so basically here in in, in the agama tool i could insert my 24 uh word passphrase um and actually let's go ahead and do that So I paste my passphrase. I'm just gonna make sure that it's it's there correctly. And in the search key pattern, I am able to search for my address for a specific private key. If I don't know or and I have many key, uh, addresses, then I would just uh, leave it as is. But but for now, I, I do know which private key I want. And once you click the get key, you will get a private key. Now this private key will allow me to spend the funds in that address. However, what we're going to do is we're going to minimize a gamma and I'm going to take you through the same steps, but with the on online tool, which you can download from uh, Ian Coleman, which was one of the first ones, uh, which, which he was the guy that actually developed this tool. So you download the zip file from the GitHub and I'll put all these links in the guide. Once you open it, what you want to do is uh, shut the internet off. Or that's what I do anyways. So before you actually launch the web page, because if you look at this, it looks, uh, it, it's an HTML file. So if I double click it, I get this tool. And here, we're going to go ahead and go through the same steps. We're going to copy our seed. And automatically, it will start generating private keys for any specific coin. So, for example, this coin here is Bitcoin, but I can choose Komodo. And if we go down, we should see on, on the first um, on the first address, you see it's the same address. Because what the device does is it generates or it derives the, the, the private keys from your seed. So from one seed, you can create or derive many addresses and basically recover them all. Um, okay, so now we know it's the same address. We see that we have a public key here and we have a private key. Now with this private key, for example, if this was the private key of the ledger address, we can copy that key and what we would do next is that we would log into a gamma light mode in order to access the funds or you could import it into the native wallet so you activate Komodo light mode and here I would paste that private key and as you can see there's two Komodo in there so that is how you're able to access your funds 
if the ledger device is not allowing you to send. So from here, I can actually make transactions. Um, and that's really what you want, right? You want to be able to access your funds. So even if you're not able to get the funds out of the ledger, you're always in control of them because you have the seed. So these are the tools that we have currently. Um, I hope this video helps and clarifies. Uh, if you have any more questions, please visit our Slack on the support channel or just reach out to us through uh, KomodoPlatform.com. Uh, support KomodoPlatform.com as well. So thank you guys. Have a great day.